going Georgia in the East. I'm going LSU in the West. Georgia to win the, the SEC championship game and Georgia to win a third straight national title. I think, um, I don't think people are giving LSU enough credit right now. I really feel like the uh, progress they made from where they started last season and that lost FSU to where they finished in the Citrus Bowl uh, win over Purdue was, was pretty amazing. Brian Kelly clearly acclimated well to the, the SEC. Uh, they're a team that I'm excited about. I think Kentucky is a uh, under the radar team. You know, Vegas has them, I think, winning seven games. I think they win nine, maybe 10 games this year. So uh, Kentucky's uh, a team that I think teams need to be aware of. I'm going to go right back to Kentucky. I mean, Devin Leary is a transfer from NC State. Uh, he'll pair up with Liam Cohen, who returns to uh, Lexington as the offensive coordinator. Uh, I think if the offensive line can be better than what they were last year, if they can keep him upright, a guy that uh, has had some injury issues in the past, uh, but if they give him time to throw, he's got a really talented group of wide receivers. Uh, Dane Key and, and uh, Barry and Brown return for their sophomore years. Tavion Robinson is back as well. So I, I really like that Kentucky passing game led by Devin Leary. Etienne, uh, Travis Etienne's uh, little brother, man. I think he's a guy that's uh, uh, ready to have a, a breakout season as well. Um, you know, that Florida offense is going to be uh, tough to stop on the ground. The offensive line uh, was really good last year. I think they're going to be good again this year. And the, uh, the, the running back trio that they have, led by Etienne, is, uh, is, is one of the best in the conference.